Welcome back. When we last left off, uh, the guys were uh, laying down the core on this um, main spar. And so this is the next day. It actually got bagged that night. And then this is the next day. Jeff's taken the bag off and he's going to uh, finish the close out on there um, to complete that spar. And on Wednesday afternoon, our engine mount arrived. So it was time to start working on the stand here. And so you can see I basically drilled the holes where the engine mount bolts to. And I've uh, cut some tube there and just sort of tack that into place to support that so that doesn't crush when the engine mount bolts are uh, tightened. And I had to make a little adjustment to the top frame and a little and add some new tabs down the bottom because of the engine mount had changed since we had designed uh, this stand. But anyway, it's been a while, so it was time to get things moving with the engine. And here Devin is uh, putting down a guide code on that um, plug that's for one of those uh, or two of those brackets that make up the um, mounts there for where the landing, the main landing gear bolts in between the uh, aft bulkhead and the rear pressure bulkhead and then this is the other one. So those are moving along fairly quickly now and I won't be long, we'll be able to pull the molds from those. Here's the main spa now, uh, we've actually put it in the office where it's a little bit warmer um, to help it sort of cure a little bit and the bag's been taken off and you know it came out really nicely, it's looking really good there. So we just let it sit there for a day at around about 78 degrees just to help it sort of uh, set up more quickly. And then it'll be time to uh, do some trimming on there. And you're probably getting sick of looking at these ones, but anyway, this is um, the same one we just saw just now and it's just getting a little bit more sanding. So moving along quickly. And likewise, here's the other one and um, already underway for the second round of sanding on those. So they're not going to be... Uh, very long before they're getting waxed here. So switching gears, let's move over to the seat mounts. So as you know, we've already made the molds for these, but we're waiting on Mark to do the FEA um, on these for us and just give us the thicknesses for the layups. And so anyway, he's gone ahead and done that. And there's a few um, areas there that need to be beefed up, but basically the design is going to work, which is going to be nice because then you'll be able to do things like put your skis under the seats or snowboards or whatever and you won't have to worry about losing things under your seats like I just lost something under the seat of my car yesterday. Anyway, so that's exciting and uh, we'll be laying those up soon. So for those seat mounts we need to have um, some inner bracing inside the keel so what we did here is um, laid up some um, just carbon fiber just as a flat stock and just bag that and then here's the next day it's uh, bags taken off so we just basically have some thin carbon fiber that we can cut some frames out that'll basically brace the inside of the keel just to give it a little bit more support for the seat mounts and here's the right upper wing skin the guys have tipped the plug on the side so they can work underneath that leading edge there because otherwise it's a bit tricky to be able to see under there so anyway that one's coming along and it's almost ready for its uh, second round of primer And here's the main spar again, so it's been popped from the mold and uh, Jeff's gone and actually cut the flanges off there, trimmed it all and uh, so ready now to have the holes drilled in there and those obviously we drilled them through the mold prior so now we just basically have to drill uh, using those bushings, drill them through and then uh, we'll have to scuff up the back of it where it's going to uh, bond up to um, the aft bulkhead. And we're actually looking into seeing if we can go and get it baked um, at an outside shop so we don't have to bake that one um, with the fuselage all together later on. So moving back over to the engine, this has pretty much become one of my projects now, which I kind of knew it was going to be. Um, so here you can see I've got the engine mount bolted up to the stand and we've got the engine hoisted into place and it's being pretty much held there by the hoist, but I do have the rear engine mounts bolted up there because they were part of the design of the actual mount itself. But then we have the side engine mounts and those um, on the Audi engine are not in any particular place. They're completely different on either side. So it wasn't really possible for us to go and um, design them exactly where they needed to be in CAD. It was a, a case of, you know, once we get the engine, we put it in place, we'll see exactly where they go and then we'll have to make some adjustments. So that's what I'm in the process of doing right now, um, creating those plates and uh, getting the vertical tubes in place. And you see this one still in the process of doing that but um, it's fitting pretty nicely there I don't think we're going to have any real problems and then we'll be able to tack everything into place and um, have Britt come and weld it all up for us so one of these plates was already cut well actually two of them were cut but they were cut the same and they were done by Kyle when he sent it up to his laser cutter 
But anyway, so the second one was wrong, and so I had to redo it. So how I did it here basically is I just created a paper template that was going to fit how it needed to fit there. And you can see just sort of holding it in place, that's basically how I did it. And it didn't take too long to do that because I kind of had an idea from the other one how it needed to be. And then I take the template, and I already had the piece of steel, but I had to, you know, cut it to shape. So I laid that over there, marked it around there, and cut it, and then um, drilled the hole through there. And then it was a case of, you know, how well was it going to fit? It's a little bit, uh, you know, different fitting steel over the um, pipe around the tubes and stuff compared to the paper. But anyway, so everything's just taped into place there just to see how it's fitting, and then ultimately it'll be tacked in place. But, uh, you know, it's fitting fairly well. I don't think there'll be any real problems in uh, welding that up when it comes time. And here's that uh, right upper wing skin plug that you saw earlier. So here's Jeff putting the second round of primer on there. So that's um, the second last of the big wing skins there to get its uh, second coat. So there's still the other one, the, the left hand side one still needs a second coat. And uh, here you can see uh, Devin went and put down the um, guide coat on there. So that one is ready now to have its final uh, sanding and then ultimately uh, waxing and then um, have the, the rubber profile put on there so that one will be ready uh, to pull a mold as well. And here's the plug for those braces. So now they're already uh, getting waxed. So I believe they are pretty much had all their uh, wax coats put on there yesterday. So they just need to have the rubber profile put around the outside and those are ready to uh, pull them all from. So that'll be next week, I would imagine. So moving along. And finally, I'll leave you with another look at the engine. So uh, my next project here is to create the little side triangle flanges for those engine mounts that I was just showing you and um, get those all tacked into place. And then we'll be able to take the uh, engine off the hoist and just sit it there. And then the process begins on uh, getting everything hooked up and so we can get that engine running. Anyway, that's our update for this week, and thanks again for watching.